Yes, we, we just heard and confirmed the entrance of 17 more trucks from the Egyptian side, the Egyptian gate of the crossing uh, to the Palestinian side. They are now in between between the areas, between the two gates uh, for transferring uh, humanitarian aid to Palestinian trucks. And these are 17 more trucks of humanitarian aid. So far, we know they are filled with medical aid. There, there's no uh, talk about a fuel or food supplies. The only uh, items that are carried on this convoy are medical supplies. And we think, uh, according to the words from the uh, doc, from hospitals official, that they are directed, hopefully they are, these uh, humanitarian aid are directed to hospitals as they are in dire need of, of necessary medical supplies. Uh, there is just one item missing from hospital here, which is uh, antiseptic uh, that is used for uh, pseudomonas uh, bacterial, bacterial, to treat pseudomonas bacterial infection uh, that pushed doctors uh, to reach the corner of shops for vinegars as an alternative. So doctors here hoping that these uh, this convoy would at least uh, uh, reduce the, uh, the the damage and reduce the uh, the suffering of hospitals as as they are on a brink of collapse. And Hani, as this goes on, the bombardment of course continues, and the casualties have been continuing to mount. Mm. Yes, well, the, the, in addition to an intensive airstrikes uh, campaign covering the entire Gaza Strip, uh, every once in a while we hear heavy artillery shelling. Uh, it started about an hour ago uh, in, the, in the northern part of Gaza. Uh, mainly the city of Beit Hanun and the city of Beit Lahia. The eastern part of Gaza City, that's mainly two densely populated neighborhoods, Shijaya neighborhood and Zatun neighborhood. Uh, there is uh, ongoing massive uh, mass bombardment of residential areas. There is a, a, a fear among Palestinians that people who could not uh, leave the northern part in Gaza City are, are afraid to be trapped under these heavy bombardment and air strikes. Uh, they, the, this toll, as we heard from an official statement, is exceeding 4,000. 500. However, uh, this number is likely to increase as there are many people still under the rubbles and uh, we, we don't know uh, to what number are we going to get, but there is a fear among Palestinians that we're getting close to 6,000 Palestinians killed in, in, as a result of these airstrikes. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.